And this is started yesterday? Um, no, it was, it wasn't bad till yesterday. Okay. It was, um, it was flooded. Got it, got it. And okay. Dave came and tried to, um, fix this, and he couldn't, he said that couldn't do it. the clean out was stuck. Okay, all right. All right. Backed up kitchen sink. What the heck is this? Oh man. What kind of clean out cap is that? What is this? Huh. I need to get this thing off. I might have to take this off because <clears throat> I don't know if you heard what she said but the handyman Dave who Dave's actually a really cool guy he's a handyman that knows when to stop he knows when he gets in over his head and then they call me um, he's a cool guy though so he's, they said he couldn't get this off which I can see why I'm just gonna have to undo all this. There's a little, there's a fern co right there. Okay, I got the screws off. Oh, there's one more. One more. It's gonna fall on my head. Yep. There you go. All right. Can't fault him for having an access panel like that. Goodness, I like it. Yeah, you got an old Galvi drain in there. See the old Galvi? You turn on the got a Galvi combi, and then that just shoots straight over to the main sewer. And then uh, got the clean out cap here. There's the drain for the sink. This is the vent. I'm gonna see if I can get my big old pipe wrench on there because if I can't, I'll just, this is ABS right here. This is galvanized, it transitions to ABS. I could just easily cut that. Got a little fern co action going on here. Ooh. Those look like shark bites, but they're not. Those are compression. I think the reason Dave couldn't get it off is because when I started to torque on it with the pipe wrench, this started to come out. So I put my hand on it and held it. But the clog, of course, is not in here. The clog is gonna be somewhere and the P-trap, unfortunately. <sighs> it's probably gonna be, I bet you it's gonna be in the combi right here. I think the clog is in the combi. I think the reason no water came out is because it's it's in the vertical here, but it's just in the, where it bends. Let's try this. I mean, that's freaking really bad.
Why would you wear gloves? I could never understand why anybody would wear gloves. Why would you wear gloves, huh? I can never, never understood that. Well. So it starts to get nasty. You really don't want this stuff on your hands, dude. If you have open cuts, I mean, you'll get infected, bro. You don't want that stuff on your hands. Still clogged, so that means it's in here. Yes, ma'am. This is leaking right here, and they have these bins. And this one just happened to get all the water. Got lucky. Look at that. It wasn't even connected. It wasn't even on there. Light's about to die. Okay, I can see down. There's no clog in there. Let me make sure it's not a disposal. Alright, so this is clear right here. All this. I'm gonna use this because it's not a grease clog, it's just a little bit of food back there. It just needs to punch a hole through. It'll be alright. That's the proper half inch slip joint washer. This is the proper. Look at that water pressure. Holy cow. Holy cow. Drain it now. Say it again. No one could live here with small children. How come? Look at the still blocked, but I think it's gonna be outside now. Yeah, I think uh, what happened is I pushed it, and I bet you when I take this off now, the water is going to be in there. Watch. All right, I'm wrong. And I guess I just need to stick the 3 8 snake down the, uh, the drain. I guess the, the little quarter inch wasn't enough. I thought it would be, dude. Damn. Now I gotta, all right. Damn, okay, all right. Pumping it out. All right, this is gonna clear it, I guarantee you that. Promise you that. No way it's gonna back up now. And if it does, then it's not a clog, it's something wrong with the pipes. This is great. 
grease. I was wrong. It was grease, not a food clog. Well, there was food in it. There's no way that's going to back up now. Water pressure, holy cow. Insane. Good. It's going good. <laughs> 